I'm here at the National Institute for Standards and Technology, and I'm about to see some of the original kilogram standards. Is you that are. right? You are. When were these made? Well, the originals were made in the 1880s. There were 40 of them that were brethren of the International Prototype Kilogram. And these 40 were distributed to the signatories of the Treaty of the Meter. And the United States was given two, K4 and K20. What was this uh, meter agreement? What, what, the Treaty of the Meter? Yeah, what is that? It's the modern day foundation of the metric system. So the US signed that? The US signed it. As if they were going to become metric? Yes. It's a little <laughs> known secret. And I'll, I'll tell you something else, that all the units that we commonly use, like feet and gallons and so on, are actually defined in terms of metric units. So it's just a little translation that we do here, but our country is actually on the metric system. <laughs> Doesn't that seem crazy? Yes, Isn't it that is. insane that like, you base all of these measurements on the metric system, and then you add a conversion factor, yes. and then later some people have to convert back. Yes, it's stupid. <laughs> I agree. Are you allowed to say that? It's true. <laughs> so can we see it? Sure, sure. What do we have to do? This, uh, this uh, requires that we go through some high security here, and also that we be uh, somewhat clean in, in what we do. So I'll have to ask you to put on some booties here. Let me see if I can do this. All right, so. Uh, did I do yeah, it? Yeah, there you go. Straight back, all the way. There you go. Boom. This is the first um, booty butler that I've ever... <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan. So, this is the first layer. And, see the code. I'm going to show you two. I'm going to show you one of the originals, and I'm going to show you a, a more modern version. K20. Oh my goodness. So that is like the original kilogram mass standard of the US. That's right. <laughs> I never thought I would get this close to it. Virtually every mass that has been accurately weighed in the US over the past 130 years can trace its measurement back to this one kilogram hunk of 90% platinum, 10% iridium. Iridium makes the alloy much harder than pure platinum, and both elements were selected for their high density and resistance to oxidation. This kilogram was created in the same way at around the same time as an object which to this day remains the definition of the kilogram, an identical cylinder stored in a basement vault on the outskirts of Paris. If you look straight down from the top, you can maybe see K20 doesn't have a very nice finish on it compared to the, the more modern prototypes. Here's K92, so it's got a, a much higher polish on it, different manufacturing techniques, absolutely no swirls. It is a really like beautiful looking specimen. Yes, it is. I mean, is there a reason why you want it to look so beautiful? Well, you want it not to be very rough because roughness increases surface area. Surface area increases the probability that you will get contaminants on that will change the mass of the entire thing. How much is it worth? Well, monetarily, the new ones are about $100,000 a piece if you were to buy one. Oh my goodness. So, but if you think about K20, K4, with uh, about 130 years of history, they're, they're they're priceless. You, you could never replace them. The purpose of this room then is to share the precise mass of K20 with anyone who wants to make a measurement without sharing K20 itself. What we do in this suite here is we transfer the definition of the kilogram from the platinum iridium prototypes to stainless steel secondary standards. And you can tell that they're a lot bigger than yeah. the platinum iridium prototypes. And that's because of the relative difference in density. The density of stainless steel is about eight grams per cubic centimeter, whereas the density of platinum iridium is about 21.5 grams per cubic centimeter. So there's almost a three times difference in density, which, which tells you why this is so much bigger in volume. And that creates a problem. Ordinarily, we don't worry much about the buoyant force, that is the upward force on every object in the atmosphere, equal to the weight of air it displaces, 
But since the volumes of these masses are so different, a stainless steel object that has around the same mass as K20 can have its weight reduced due to buoyancy by around 110 milligrams. The precise amount depends on the temperature, pressure, and humidity of the air. That's why the mass comparator itself is inside of a chamber here that's isolated from the outside world, so that the temperature remains relatively stable and the humidity the same. Pressure is, the, is by far the biggest contributor to air density, so we don't want it changing all over the place with the weather. The problem scientists are having with the kilogram now is much bigger than weather fluctuations. It's something they discovered when all the original kilograms were returned to Paris for a weigh-in, including K20. How does it get there? It gets there uh, by a person hand carrying it. Each prototype gets taken out of its bell jar and put in its container. Makes an ugly sound. After we get it in there all nicely secured, then we wrap the whole thing in bubble wrap and put it in a camera bag and sling it over our shoulders. <laughs> and don't let it out of our sight. It sounds a little casual. So you actually like, while you're on the plane, you, do you put it in like the overhead storage? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. No, it stays with us at all times like it's, a, you know, the nuclear football, the codes for setting off the nuclear weapons. And you've never had any scares while you're carrying the... Uh, the only scare comes if somebody wants to see it, like a customs official. I've never had to open it, although I, I had a kind of a scary moment at one time when they asked me what it was made of, and I told them it was platinum iridium. And somebody heard the word iridium and connected that with radioactivity. Oh, no. And kind of, you know, flew off the handle a little bit, and I had to calm them down and assure them that it wasn't radioactive, there was no threat going on here. The real threat was the unreliable weight of the kilogram mass standard. What they do is a series of comparisons. They compare every one of those with the international prototype kilogram. Using that data and plotting it, it looked as if there had been a change in the international prototype that made it about 50 micrograms heavier than one kilogram, now over the course of 100 years, all right? But the interesting thing is, if one looks at the data that was recently taken at the end of 2013, international prototype kilogram did not show an increasing mass. You're telling me for several decades it was gaining mass and all of a sudden it stopped, which, you know, I find that hard to explain. But it seemed um, like all of the 40 masses seemed to be somewhat diverging at that weigh-in. They went in different ways. They went in different directions, yes. So that... Some changed a lot, some changed a little, some hardly changed at all. But it's hard to tell. I mean, they could all be changing a lot, but because all you can tell is the difference between them, if but you know what I mean. If all that matters is the difference between them and the international prototype, because the international prototype is the only thing you need, the only thing that you really know, because it's defined as one kilogram. Right, but I mean... But outside of that definition, there's a chance it could have gained, you know, five grams as long as they all gained five grams. You know, I, obviously it's ridiculous. Sure, obviously it's sure. ridiculous. It's but, relative. But the point is, they could have all been gaining or they could have all been losing. Right. It's a relative measurement, and that's the weakness of the system. And that's why, as of 2018, the kilogram will no longer be defined as the mass of a metal cylinder. If you want to find out how the kilogram will be redefined, be sure to subscribe to Veritasium.